Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Echo here and for today's video is more like a Q&A video and I will be answering some of your questions that you commented on my post or reply to my story. So while answering those questions, I'll be showing you the time-lapse video of my digital art or fan art of Changa or Change, I don't know how to pronounce her name, um, from Over the Moon. And by the way, I'm using my VK640 pen tablet and if you haven't watched my unboxing video, kindly check it out. I'll be putting the link below or di sa taas. Now let's start answering some questions. What do you prefer? Traditional or digital art? Hmm. Since I'm new to digital art and I'm still learning to digital art, I prefer traditional. Since when did you start doing arts? Um, the serious one, I think I started grade 7 because I was part of a special section and I was in SPA, it's special program in the arts and I'm a part of visual art. How would you describe your art style? Hmm, I don't think I can answer this accurately because I have an inconsistent art style. But if ever I found my style, I'd like to have a cartoon features, but have this realistic shadings. Kailan ka nag-start mag-drawing? Mm, I think lahat naman tayo nag-start na mag-drawing nung bata. Pero kung yung seryosong seryoso, uh, I started when I was in grade 7. Ano pinaka-favorite mong artwork na nagawa mo and why? Mm, I think my eye painting, yung latest, yung may gouache. Um, kasi I'm a fan of Arlie Bean and I'm so happy to see na my artwork is... Um, super inspired by Arlie Bean and then the emotions that na portray ng mga eye paintings was just amazing. Yeah. What motivates you to make arts? Mm, my dreams and also my idols, my inspirations and my fellow artists, my audiences or my followers, my friends and my family. What's the best piece of advice you've been given? Mm, I think the best advice that I've given was um, is this for artist thing and accept criticisms no matter what even if it's good or bad criticism because those criticisms would be um, would help you um, improve and to know what's right favorite medium in painting right now it's team gouache bakit ang fresh mo <laughs> skincare lang at puyat the joke <laughs> Knowing that you are a fan of different manhwas, do you have a favorite artist or author among the books you read? Um, I don't know who's the author, but my favorite book is Pat to You. It has amazing visuals, amazing flow of the story, and amazing characters. Do you have any plans on doing a webtoon or manhwa series in the future? If so, what would be the genre and storyline? Um, since I'm a fan of Yaoi, of course I want to create my own webtoon or my own manhwa in the future and the genre of course it's yaoi and the storyline i don't have any idea yet let's see in the future who is your current inspiration when doing your art mm, my fellow artists and of course um, my idols from different country and here in the philippines anong sitwasyon na naging kahinaan mo then feel mo hindi mo na malagpasan yung problem na yun and paano mo siya na overcome at sa pamagitan ng Oh, this is quite a hard question. Uh, I think the naging kahinaan ko is when the time that I was pressured and I had this way of thinking that I'm, I, I down myself and also I'm nothing. But you mean, you know, problems are just temporary things that we need to overcome and we need to face. And how did I overcome it? Of course, with the help of art, with the help of painting. I just paint and then look for a brighter side yeah, because in our in situation in life whenever you have a problem always try to look for a brighter side and have this way of thinking na if you stop ano nang mangyayari sa future mo pag tumigil ka ngayon, pag tumigil ka ngayon ano nang mangyayari sa kinabukasan mo and have this thinking na I will continue because I want to achieve something and I want to fulfill my dreams. That's it. Always think positive. Ano yung nagpo-push sa'yo na magpatuloy? Mm, I think my dreams, yung mga pangarap ko, and also yung passion ko. Kasi if you have this kind of thinking in mind na you want to achieve something, you want to reach a goal, you would actually do everything or do anything just to reach it, just to achieve it. And if you have that kind of 
or if you think that way, that is when the time that even if the challenges are hard, you would actually go for it and push yourself until you reached it. Who are the artists that you look up to? So, chinat ko siya si Rojas, um, local daw hindi do international. So, when I started doing watercolor, I have this um, tatlong artist. Um, sila talaga yung hinahangaan ko since 2018. Siya si Kuya Jeremiah or Tubig at Papel, Patrick Rojas, and Kuya John Lafore. Sila yung tatlong artist na naging inspiration ko kaya ako nag watercolor. And then as I grow or as I be part of the art community, uh, I discover more artists, I encounter more artists, and then halos lahat sila, lahat na nakikilala ko, they're my inspiration. I look up to them because ang gagaling nila and every time I see their works, um, it gives me this kind of energy na go, magdrawing ka din. Kasi sobrang ganda ng gawa nila. If someone buys your artworks, how do you price them? Hmm, okay. Um, to tell you honestly, pricing an artwork or pricing a masterpiece is one of the most difficult thing that, things that I experience. And actually, it's not that easy. Well, if I'm to ask, how do I price my works? Um, it's based on the effort, the materials, and the beauty of the work. Kaano kadalas ang minsan? Grabe, ito ata pinakamahirap na question ha. Uh, depende yun BFF kung gaano din kadalas yung minsan. <laughs> ang hirap! Kung may chance ka palitan ang strand mo, magi i ka ba or arts and design? Sa ngayon, I will choose AD kasi talagang ngayong quarantine, I realized na talagang gusto ko talaga ng course ko ay more on art related or gusto ko pang matutunan more about arts and gusto ko na din mag animator or maging isang designer. That's all the questions. Enjoy watching! That's it for today's video guys, thank you thank you so much for watching and if you like this video, don't forget to click subscribe and hit the notification bell para lagi kayo updated sa mga art videos ko. See you on my next video, bye!